These are a few more mechanisms I was working on whilst developing the adding uh, machines. This is a rollover counter, uh, so what would happen here is it would go from, uh, as the units roll round to uh, 9, it goes one over and updates the next digit. So this is a bit like you'd have on tape players years ago where it would count round with the units uh, 0 to 9, and then as it got to 9 it would roll over the 10s, would roll the next digit, and the same carry on, uh, the next 9 would go into the 100s. And you can do that with LEGO by having this kind of uh, intermediary uh, latch gear at the top and then using a 40 tooth gear um, to encode a, a, uh, a single counter for each revolution and then a 10 counter for each revolution so as it rolls over it taps it by one. It works quite well because these are 40 tooth gears and each chain link takes up uh, two teeth so if you alternate the wide links and the narrow links that gives you uh, exactly 40 to encode the 10 so that's something I'm probably going to uh, muck around with later. Totally uh, unrelated, I've also been working on a couple of kinematic ideas, so this is my first kind of uh, walking motion. And what I was quite keen to do with this was get a motion that um, wasn't just a circular rotation, because a lot of I've seen a lot of um, animatronic models that just rotate the foot and that's it. But actually what happens is the foot goes round and it hits the ground. So I wanted to get a semicircular motion, so here there's a little uh, catch at the base, which means that as it hits the bottom, it goes along. So I was experimenting with that for a while. I Try to take it a bit further, but that's just an ongoing thing. Uh, the other thing I'm working on is uh, a re sort of think of the Geneva mechanism. Geneva mechanisms are stopping uh, intermediate mechanism. What you do is have a circular disc with a cutout of it, and then a, another part rotates against it and latches it round, uh, so you get this intermittent motion coming out. Um, there's quite a few ways of doing it, but with Lego it's quite hard because you can't make, you don't have, haven't got the exact shapes to hand. So I was trying to find a way of doing it. I found a, uh, if you actually make a lever mechanism uh, that draws out a sort of L shape and an arc, you can then use that to do a sort of internal Geneva mechanism like that, which actually works really, really well. So I'm definitely going to use that in something in the future. Then I thought I'd try that again with just a two-way motion, so not going around with four, this one does two. And this one does it by sort of drawing out with levers a shape that's like a sort of a D. It goes along and then up in a semicircle. So and that's that.